Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo, and I'm hanging out with Jose Hernandez, who is going to be making his UNF debut at UNF5. So, Jose, first and foremost, I want to start off by asking you, how are you feeling knowing that you're making your debut? I feel really good. Uh, it's a big promotion, so I'm happy to have this opportunity to show everybody else in this promotion what I can do. That's so cool. And, you know, you mentioned getting this opportunity to, you know, come out and show the people what you can do. How did you hear about UNF? How did this opportunity come about for you? I have a couple of uh, uh, fellow uh, fighters that I train with. Uh, they fought for this promotion. here. It's really nice. It's very professional. So, you know, why not give it a shot? You know, I'm trying to get out there. Yeah, get your name out there. Keep, you know, keep growing in this business, et cetera. Uh, t how long have you been doing MMA for? I started MMA when I was 16 years old. Okay. I started MMA at 16 years old and... Up until that point, I just I just loved it. I love the sport. I love what it does, what you what it changes you into. It's really good. It's really good. How did you decide to like start doing mixed martial arts at the age of sixteen? Actually, I started uh, fighting when I was eleven. I, I was a boxer. Oh, really? I started boxing at age eleven. But uh, the longer I stayed in that, I like I love boxing. Don't get me wrong, I love boxing too. Uh, but there was a lot of UFC uh, fighters coming up. Uh, one name that really stood up was Anderson Silva. When I saw him, I just that he just blew my mind, like the way his head movement, what he does, it's just, it was magical, you know, and, and I wanted to emulate that. Yes. So I'm like, okay, so, you know, I might as well throw my head in there, you know. I'm a boxer, so let's see, I want to know what else I can do. So what was that transition like for me, for you to go from boxing to MMA? Because obviously you have to incorporate a lot more, you have to learn, you have to add to your arsenal. What was that like? Uh, at first it was, uh, was kind of hard, obviously. I'm a boxer, so learning wrestling, jujitsu, trying to throw kicks, it was a little frustrating at first, but... I just learned to love the sport and learning to grow, you know. I like growing. I like learning new things. What if they, if anyone's any, anything to teach me, I'll just, you know, add it to my arsenal. I just love learning. What's been, like, the easiest thing for you to learn and also what's been the hardest thing for you to learn? Uh, probably the hardest thing to learn, obviously, is probably boxing still. There's so much so much to learn in boxing. Boxing, the, you never stop learning. There's always something new to learn. Uh, one of the easiest things... Um... Like none of it is easy, not huh? Really, none of it, not really easy, but if I had to, to go with, like, a, I wouldn't say easier, but, like, a little, like, more, uh, less, like, uh, I'm a little more calmer to learn. It's probably jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is probably more calm because it's more like of a, it's like a calm sport. So it's not nothing really too crazy. Yeah, there's, like, some crazy jiu-jitsu guys out there, but it's, like, nothing really compared to, like, getting punched in the face or anything like that. Yeah, that's definitely true, right? Once you get punched in the face, that is a whole entire right. game changer for you and all of that. And so, you know, you since you are going into your debut, what would it mean to you to get a victory here at Up Next Fighting and kind of, you know, get your name out there? Oh, man, that would mean everything to me. I'm going for the finish, you know. That's my main goal. Every time I go in that cage or in the ring, don't matter. I'm going for the finish at all times. So hopefully with this one, with this victory, if I do get a finish victory, hopefully my name will be thrown out there. They'll be like, oh, like, let's go to the next uh, up next fighting uh, event because this guy is fighting. I want them to know, like, oh, this guy, like, this guy is fighting. So, like, you know, yeah, stuff like that. That's really cool. Now, I do also want to know, you know, who are you outside of the cage? You know, we've been hearing all of this about, you know, your MMA and how you got started, your boxing background, et cetera. But what else do you do outside of MMA? What are some of your hobbies, interests, things that you're a fan of? Uh, a lot of uh, actually, a lot of people tell me that, but one of my hobbies that I really like and I still do to this day is play soccer. I started playing soccer since I was obviously a little child, but I've always liked playing sports, any sport, whatever. Back then when I was a child, like, my neighborhood, we used to play any sport, football, soccer, baseball, you name it, we play it. Like, we may not be good at it, but we'll still go at it, you know, it's, it's all good. It's all just about having fun, but I still play soccer once in a while, so it's still fun. Yeah, that's so cool, you know, go out there and do what you like to do. I love it. Well, I want to thank you so much for chatting with me today. It's going to be a great time to see you at UNF5, and good luck on your debut. Thank you. Up Next Fighting 5 is taking place at the Commerce Casino on Saturday, February 25th. Headlining this event will be Albert Morales, who will be defending his UNF Featherweight Championship against Javier Garcia. Want to learn more about us? Head on over to upnextfighting.com. In the meantime, if you want to check out some of our previous bouts, you can right here on our YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.